So let's start this app by naming it something. And in this case, I'll just name it event app. And then I do want to point you towards the properties section when you're on sort of the main area. If you highlight this area up here, the gray area, you can do a few things here. You can change the background color to green or red. You know, some of these colors are pretty hard to look at, but usually uh, a black background or a nice white background will work best. And I'm going to leave this one as white right now. You can also add a background image. So if you click right here, you see I've already got a little bit of media preloaded here. I can load the app event header and click OK. And now the screen background will show my image. So if you want to create a background for the entire screen, you just create an image and upload it right there. And we're actually going to put that app header up at the top. So I'll put none there. And just to let you know, this little icon here is your actual icon when you upload to the Android market. This is the icon that's going to display on the user's phone. And we'll talk a lot more about that when we talk about finalizing our app and uh, uploading it to the Android market. There are a lot of uh, graphic assets that you'll need to work with and they need to be so many pixels by so many pixels. In this case, your icon will be 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Now the screen orientation, you can see that it defaults to unspecified, but you can also choose portrait, which means that even if this phone gets turned on its side, the orientation is still going to be just up and down. And if you choose the landscape orientation, you can create an app that goes from essentially what is the top of the phone here down to the bottom. And when the user holds their phone on the side, that's how the app looks correct. I'm going to change this back to unspecified because when we upload to the Android market, as you'll see later, the software we're going to use to prepare our app will allow us to choose the orientation options that we want in our app. Now, scrollable is essentially if you have a bunch of stuff on the screen here and it spills off down to the bottom, especially if you have like a long list of websites or something like that, it allows the user to scroll down and see all of that. You can uncheck that and not allow the user to scroll, but generally it's best to keep this checked.